So here's the background. We have a imaginary country that exports grains like wheat and barley. We call countries like this that export uh, soy, coffee beans, and like essential food items to other countries, a breadbasket. Okay. So when it comes to wheat, it's, you know, Russia, Ukraine, other countries in Eastern Europe. And many countries depend on the imports of these countries. So you may have heard in the news right now that the price of uh, bread has gone up. And this is problematic in many countries where bread is the main uh, food of consumption. The price goes up and that just drives the price of many things uh, up. It's coincidence. Now, this is the problem because it's the one I found in the book, but I adapted to make it uh, you know, rele relevant to well, you know, what we're hearing in the news today. Anyway, we have this uh, country that exports grain to other countries and they need to ship their 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 grain so there is a there is a state owned manufacturer a government owned company that produces containers we call these uh, container liners they look something like this so you know you you put these in uh, the cargo like the ones you find in Mirsk but these are you know meant to keep the grain dry it's just for cargo okay now they have two types two designs two models one is the standard model and the other one is the premium so what's what how are they different okay and of course we we denote the standard container with c sub s and the premium one with c sub p so the c stands for container so the standard container can contain 100 kilograms of barley and 100 kilograms of wheat Whereas the premium one can hold 200 kilograms of barley and 100 kilograms of wheat. I am not an expert in agriculture, but apparently you can design containers this way. You can mix them together. Now, this company, the state-owned manufacturer, now it doesn't matter if it's state-owned or private. It's just uh, the, the numbers here uh, and the variables are important for us. This uh, company, this manufacturer has received a quote to sell or provide the government with containers for the following. The manufacturer is supposed to produce containers for 30 million tons of wheat and 40 million tons of barley. Now I've, I've uh, used this notation because when it comes to plotting, it will become easier. So we're gonna actually drop the units of measurement. So we will stick to 3,000 to 4,000. But just for context, uh, it, they export in the millions, in the millions of tons. Now, what we want, what what this LP problem is about is maximizing the profit margin for the company. What combination of containers can we use to maximize the profit? So they will earn eighty cents of the dollar if they sell premium containers and seventy cents for uh. uh uh, the standard container, okay? And what we need to do first is express the objective function. So basically we need to model the relationship between how, of how much they will make and then maximize this function. So this is the objective function, okay? Let me copy this bit here. There's a lot of information going on in here, right? So let's break it down. I'll, I'll break it down. Okay, I'm just giving you some background first. So let me actually put these up here because I don't want to, these are not the same. These are different tasks. So this is the problem tasks and then there's the LP tasks. So the objective function is the following. The objective function is this. They will earn 80 cents for every premium container that they uh, that they sell to the government and 70 cents for every standard container that they sell. So the objective function is a function of two variables. 
the number of premium containers and the number of standard containers. Now for convenience, we're going to uh, swap C sub P and C sub C with X and Y. It's just notational convenience. So we will let X equal to the premium, the number of premium containers and Y equals to the number of standard containers. So this is the objective function now. It is a function of two variables and this is the relationship. So now we want to maximize this, but we have constraints. We have these constraints. What are the constraints? Let's see. The constraints are the following. The first one, now the, uh, these constraints say this, that uh, the, the combination of containers you use, the number of containers you use cannot exceed the amount that you are allocated. So for example, in the, for, the, for wheat, we have 30 million tons. So we need to, uh, I mean, yeah, so we cannot exceed, when we, when we solve for this equation, we plot it, we cannot exceed the quantity. And of course, the below one is for the barley. These constraints will, uh, uh, once we plot it and you know, solve for the roots, the x and y's, we will know up to what number of standard or to what up to what number of premium containers we can, you know, we can we can adjust. So the tasks are this: given the objective function, so let's now this is our new objective function, the one that's f of x. This is the objective function, and these are the constraints. Task number one: we need to find the feasible region for the objective function and then find the best point within that region. So we need to know what are the limitations of our parameters and then within the, within the, uh, within the region of our parameters, what is, the most, what is the point that will give us maximum profit? Okay, this is only two constraints, but then we can generalize it for problems where we have multiple constraints.